Okay, Uranium Friends, new name, checking in on Sabanye. Still water, right? SBSW. So there's been some chatter lately. Uh, and surprisingly, uh, uh, listen, I I've known that uh, Sabanye has uranium tailings, and they've had it for, I've known this for a long time. And, you know, apparently the uh, fundamental quote unquote experts, uh, some of them didn't know, but whatever. I, you know, again, who cares? Uh, I've played this thing for years back and forth and you know again it's just not one of my favorite names but uh there's chatter uh, in the uranium space so we'll look at it so weekly chart here and what we have is a weekly falling wedge so you know it, you can't just say oh it's a uranium name it's going to follow space no um it really likes to follow that platinum group and you know it's got some gold and whatnot it's more of a precious metals play in my opinion than anything else uh you know fundamental guys will tell you that there might be they might have like 70 million pounds worth of tailings or whatever uh, who cares uh this is the deal weekly falling wedge now falling wedges are notoriously a bullish pattern i mean they start to set up as a bullish pattern doesn't mean they are right uh it just is and this is a pretty valid uh, weekly falling wedge, right? So you know how uh, you need to, if you're going to do trend lines, you need to get solid candle touches, not the wicks. Uh, you can get some wicks, but you want the solid candle touches and you really want at least three. So one, two, a bunch here. Good, right? So good weekly falling wedge. Same here, right? Some solid candle touches. So weekly falling wedge. Now, you know, when you say it's a, a bullish pattern, yeah, I mean, at it, it, some, they, they, they often, more often than not, resolve to the upside. Uh, how much upside comes from that? You know, who knows? It's it's immaterial. But, you know, the way this wedge is playing out, I mean, it could still continue on its downward trajectory all the way into September before there's some sort of resolution. And, and you know, this the, the this wedge might open up a little bit and expand the range where we can start getting touches and it could uh, it could open up this wedge, which would, would make it longer and you'd have to redo your lines and it could be a whole thing and whatever. Uh, the way I'm looking at it is that it's just, it's riding these averages down. And again, you watch my videos, you'll know that we talk about these moving average riders all the time, right? So there's your metric and it's the weekly 12 EMA that you can use. And it's had a couple of spots where it breaks out over it. And it gets rejected from its uh, falling wedge uh, resistance line. Breaks over, rejection. Break over, rejection. Break over, rejection. Break over, rejection. Um, yeah, that would be it. So that, that that's your formation right now. There's nothing that's saying that this is going to change, right? So, but what do we have? We have a pretty solid level other than this wick. And this looks like a capitulatory candle, right? So if you... If I just do this to get it out of the way, you know, capitulation volume, possibly, you know, what happened over here? Yeah, continued down still, right? So um, it's starting to build at least it's starting to get some sideways action, you know, so it could be the sign, your first sign of possibly a change, you know, like for me, it's a pretty clear level right there, 438. Uh, where, you know, if it breaks that level and stays below, it's, you know, it's likely to continue down. Uh, I mean, this thing is starting to revisit its COVID low. Sorry, excuse me. Um, So weekly falling wedge, nothing great to say about this. Uh, The 12 EMA and the 50 day moving average, they're acting as resistance. They've been doing it since really March of 2022. I mean, it's just been a clear metric for this name. Yeah, you got a little nice little relief bounce here, but it didn't help you that much, right? I mean, anybody who traded this, who started picking up off of this sideways action here, used uh, this level maybe here as a stop, you know, they maybe made some money here, you know, made a trade, trimmed half, put your stop below this level or around this level, survived this, <laughs> and then got stopped out. So, um you know, it just it it just it just goes to show that you know, for me, my style is I I love to if I'm going to take a position on something like this, I'm going to cut 
a half of it pretty quick while it's in profit so I can try to get my stop break even below these lower levels. That's that's what I would try to do uh, because I know I'm wrong if it continues down and it can, you know, this falling wedge pattern, which is a fairly reliable pattern, it can still continue down. So uh, that's the deal with Sabanya and the weekly that it's it's not telling me much other than it's just continuing down. There's no relief in sight here. There's nothing positive. The only thing, thing positive I can say <clears throat> is that it's starting to build a little bit of a, a level here. And you can see that on the volume profile. I mean, this is right where it is. So you've got this big volume gap. So if it breaks down below uh, this recent low, you know, you could be looking at revisiting down here in the $3 area, the 278 area, and that would be taking out these COVID lows. So, you know, it's there's nothing overly positive about it. So, like, if I'm going to try to play this name uh, as a re uranium play, first of all, I'm not. Uh, um, I wouldn't do that. Uh, you know, I want to see the precious metals rolling around with it, too. So, you know, let's take a look at platinum on the weekly with this gold line is SBSW, by the way. So you can see a fairly decent correlation. Right. And, you know, it has its times of electrical moves up and away. Um, you know, but it always reverts back to the mean at some point. So it does, you know, these are good correlations, right? Platinum is making a move. SBSW is making a, its move. Comes down. It's, it's, it's correlated. But what we do have here is a breaking of the correlation. It's just, you know, it, it looks all perfect here. Right. But the correlation, it's, it's similar in that, you know, platinum's doing the same thing. So it, 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 it it's important to 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 look at maybe the the base case on this name, because to me, the base case on this name is platinum more than it is uranium. So, um, you know, the ideal scenario is your precious metals and your uranium going in the same direction. And, you know, you start seeing that happen. Um, SBSW could be a great play in that environment. You know, uh, without that environment, you're fighting a lot. You know, even though uranium's going up and platinum's going down, you know, it's going to have an effect on SBSW that way. It's not going to get those electric moves. Who knows? You know, and this is a ratio of Sabanye with uh, platinum, right? And it's the same deal as actually SBSW just without any ratio. We're looking at a, a weekly uh, falling wedge. So, you know, back to the pure chart of SBSW, weekly falling wedge, making a nice level here with a nice piece of support on this uh, volume profile. Uh, the daily... And this is kind of what might have me slightly interested in making a play on this name. Uh, the Daily did a couple of things. Uh, it's really, it's starting, again, it's starting to establish a level. So it's kind of like, I know I'm wrong <laughs> if um, if this level breaks, you know. And, and it could just be a fake out to test this, back test this and shake everybody out. But, you know, the weekly wedge transfers into a, a, a daily falling wedge as well. And it's probably, you know, it's it's the same look. You know, there's not much to say about it. This thing is going down. It's continuing to go down and it's grinding down. So what does it do when it grinds down? Um, it cools the RSI. The good thing is, is that, you know, there's kind of a, a, a fairly easy metric for scalps on this name, right? And that's daily oversold conditions. Because when it gets to daily oversold, pretty much gets a bounce. This one, you know, this wasn't a bounce. So, and you know, you're wrong, by the way, if it doesn't get the daily oversold bounce, you know, you're wrong and you, and you best be careful. That's why it's good to use levels to work off of because, you know, this daily oversold bounce got you, you know, might, might've gotten you something, but it didn't get you a lot. And you got some good, strong continuation downside. And that could have wiped everybody out. You know, that could, that could kill your position. And it would take a long time just to get break even. That's all that happened here, right? So anybody oversold bounce buyers here, uh, if they didn't trim out and they didn't get much of an opportunity because the movement wasn't that big, 
I'll just zoom in. You know, there wasn't much movement here at all. So if you didn't make a good pick on your entry, uh, you didn't get much out of it. And you but you got wiped out. And then even on a relief bounce, you still didn't get much out of it. So, you know, uh, I've always said I'm not a big RSI uh, player. But SBSW gives you those nice little RSI, oversold RSI bounces. You know, historically, let's just look here on the daily. Yep, historically, it's given them to you. You know, it does those little shots where you don't get them and you just know to get out quick. I think that's basically what it's going to come down to. So if you're going to play the RSI oversold bounce, um, and that would probably be my plan, uh, I would have to see. I, I would I would be cutting, you know, personally, I'm going to cut at least half pretty quick to take advantage of this bounce because there's nothing in this chart on the monthly. Let me look at the monthly fast before I say that. There's nothing positive on this monthly chart. There's nothing positive on this weekly chart other than that it's kind of starting to set a level. It's having some bounces off this level, right? Bounce, 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 right? So it's definitely having some bounces off this level. So there's a slight possibility there, uh, a positivity there. It's got some pretty good volume support here too. So, you know, for me, it's technically it's worth a shot. Uh, but I wouldn't, I'm not, I'm personally not going to be sticking around uh, if this level breaks. So that's when, when I want to try to figure out a trade or, you know, maybe some sort of swing scalp, I have some defined things that I know I can work off of here, right? So I have this level, I have the bottom of this uh, wedge channel, and I have the top where I want to target, and I have a level near it. So, um, you know, the daily's not overly positive, but, you know, it's still what the daily needs to do. It needs to get a trend change, right? So you have your low. Like I'm, I'm looking at, at this as all one move, right? So I'm looking at it like this. Here's your first move. Here's your low. It's made the high. Now it's searching for a higher low compared to that level, right? We want to see it bounce, make a higher low, and then continue to make a higher high from this level and if it does that uh it changes the trend so i mean no doubt that my plan uh my trading plan will be with this is to try to capture a daily higher low and how do i do that well i can go to the hourly and start to figure it out from there so and, and what the hourly is is doing right now is telling you me and all of us that you know, here's your hourly trend change. It's kind of made it a nice move. Started getting sideways, made its last little push, and then kapow, everybody sold it off, right? And it took out, you know, a couple of days worth of, of lows here. Uh, quick recovery, which is good, right? So uh, that's the way I'm playing it. I'm looking for a daily higher low if I want to enter this name, and I probably do because there's a group that I'm in uh that focuses on uranium and it's a small group and this is going to be one of our uh focus names going forward so you know we might play it we'll see how it goes but uh sbsw not a lot of positive to say about it other than this possibility of a level at least in the very least it's something to work off of right so if i want to buy today do I want to take that 40 cent uh, drawdown? You know, that's a what, 8%? Maybe. Uh, there, uh, for me, probably no, because I'll be picky. And I played, I have played this name in the past. And I will tell you where I've played it. Uh, let's see. I was, play, I was definitely playing this name in here. You know, but every, you know, everybody was a stock market genius off of the COVID lows in no matter what you picked. So uh, that's not saying much, right? But, you know, this thing can chop you up pretty bad. So uh, that's the deal. SBSW, over and out.